what's going on, everybody? This is Tuko with Music IDTV, your home for B2B music news. So, Vivo, which we've never really reported on the channel before, has hit a 30% revenue rise in the year of 2017, bringing them up to $650 million. This is the first time in eight years that Vivo has actually broke even, and they are projecting to be profitable in the year of 2018. This has a little bit to do with the fact that YouTube has kind of been losing advertisers ever since we had that whole debacle in 2017 where we saw that certain ads were on videos that certain companies would prefer their ads not to be on so companies started to pull their ads from youtube and some of those ads are going over to vivo which is strictly based off of music videos which is a pretty safe place and i guess with the i guess with the multitude of things that you can upload to youtube and the multi-genre multi-faceted platform that it is can somehow create certain issues issues when it comes to advertising, especially if you're just kind of dispersing the ads a little freely versus a Vivo where you know that your ads are going to be solely based in the music community or people interested in music or music videos or those artists. It's a good way to tie into a specific type of demographic when a platform is solely dedicated to a genre of content, we'll call it in the new year. So let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you watch things on Vivo? Honestly, Vivo pops up and I don't like the way Vivo works because Vivo just starts to play more videos and then it's not always the video by the artist that I'm looking at and they're trying to advertise all these artists to me and I think I don't like that and then YouTube does have more options so I don't use Vivo and I thought Vivo was YouTube or Vivo's YouTube channel it's a little confusing even though I do get the certain sense of separation between the two but at the end of the day it is music based wouldn't hurt to see them win also just note that Alphabet which owns Google also owns a piece of Vivo, so does Universal Music Group, and a couple of other entertainment companies. So that's who's winning in all of this. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. But beyond that, be sure to share with a friend, like, and subscribe for more videos. We're currently trying to reach our goal of a thousand subscribers. Once we reach our goal, we will begin to post five news videos per week. But until then, don't be afraid to hit the notifications button so you can stay informed. We're currently posting four news videos per week. Once again, my name is Tuko with Music IDTV. I'm with the Music News. Sayonara.